I've had some trouble with my MR100 antenna analyzer, which was giving me false readings after I tried to calibrate it. So I decided to make a uh, calibration tool and uh, I got this little metal case with a BNC connector and I added two switches. Now I just have to put the uh, resistors in and make sure uh, I can switch them from here. So I think this will be the 274 ohm position here and this switch will choose between the 100, I think it was, and 150. To get uh, 150 and 50 ohms, I have two 100 ohm resistors in parallel and one 100 ohm resistor in series. What I have to do to switch between 150 and 50 ohms is to short the 100 ohm resistor right here. Here's the whole bundle with the uh, green and blue wires uh, are to short the 100 ohm resistor and the two uh, resistor leads there are for the load. I'll use a little piece of uh, heat shrink tubing to avoid shorts. The bottom switch will be used to uh, switch between 150 and 50 ohms. And here's the finished product. The top switch will be used to switch between the 274 ohm and the 150 and 50 ohm pair. And this one is going to be switching, of course, between the 150 ohm and the 50 ohm load. And I just found out that these switches have an internal resistance of about 7 ohms. <laughs> So that doesn't work. Uh, well, maybe it's close enough. I'm going to try anyway. Let's try to calibrate. Confirm, yes. Disconnect load, okay. Maybe I need to press the button. That's it. Well, I hope it's good enough. Okay, I plugged in an antenna, so and I know it's pretty good on 80 meters. And actually, here it gives me an SWR 1.67 on 20 meters, so that's good. I hope it's precise. Let's try another band. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work on 160, but it's not supposed to. 3.7 so that's a bit high for, let's see, into the CW portion of the band, 2.26, 2.20, yeah, that's a bit high. But I think it does work. Actually, uh, let's see, 204, 195, 188, 183, 181. No, it's all right. Well lowest at 3.54 megahertz which is perfect into the cw portion of the band it's a bit high still but i think the analyzer does work let's see what my uh, kx2 says on uh, 3.54 1.5 to 1 so yeah it's not exactly calibrated but it seems to be giving me a slightly higher SWR, which, you know, isn't too bad, better that than too low. The great thing about this gizmo is that I can use it as a dummy load or to test the accuracy of an SWR meter. Have a good one.